Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's get started. Truth be told from Aries to Pisces. Let's see what's happening. Like, share, subscribe, and thank you. Okay, Aries. And don't forget, we're going to do a collective. Okay. So Aries, wow. It's final. The end. It's a karmic end. And it was, it was like all fair. Everything's fair in, I hear, love and war. <laughs> you know? What has come to an end was just a matter, it really was a matter of time. It had to be, someone already knew this Libra potentially might have already known and or Scorpio that this was um, a necessary and needed avenue of freedom. Freedom reigns, Aries. I mean, yeah. And this person who has taken themselves out of the equation has gained their freedom reigns and is happy about it. It could be just this Libra and or I feel like it's a Libra that you were dealing with that just said, I'm down, I'm out. And someone has been left to really assess their own demons. And or it's vi it's both, right? It's a willful act upon two people that knew it was going to happen. Now, of course, it's a general, so don't freak out. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Really, don't freak out. <laughs> you know, if you need me, I'm here. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, it's like, I'm coming out. I want the world to know, right? That song. I'm coming out. I'm making moves. I'm letting people see my true colors. I'm acting on my own instincts and I'm feeling good about it. I'm making good choices. Emotionally, I'm really happy. People are seeing you and in, they envision you as the leader that you are already. But now they see and they have been seeing and witnessing your <clears throat> ability to get emotionally involved and help others through, through your energy, right? You've some flare of energy um, commands your attention. Wow, Taurus, that's awesome. And I heard it's about time. I just heard that. Okay, Gemini. All right, Gems, what's happening? Gemini. So we have here strong in, in your own rightful place of ownership, of I am empowered. I have given all, I've given every person, place, or thing who wasn't rightfully earning their place has been given and laid to rest. Emotionally unavailable people, toxic people, places and things that no longer serve, for, serve your highest good. And you already knew this. You knew it for a long time, Gemini. Maybe it's an Aries that we had to clean out. Um, maybe it's a cleaning out of an old narcissist. And now you've taken control of your own empowered life, right? Life, lifestyle, you, you are owning it. You have a scroll there. You have the wisdom and knowledge of unascended consciousness. It has taken you a long time, per se, because things that things that take a longer time um, become more solidified. We do have bouts of back and forth. However, this 
breeds, I'm crossing that bridge and I'm not looking back. Why would you? Right? It's beautiful. So take that empowered, take that empowerment and don't look back. Okay. Cancers. Cancers. Okay, that flipped. And here we have. So what's going on? There's lots going on, right? There's um, an unsettled there's an unsettling feeling within the family dynamic. Did we have, um, do we have to think about maybe making some sort of a decision or you already made a decision that like, you know, you don't want something. So maybe someone in the family offered that this to you, uh, you could be kind of thinking it over or it's, if it's, here's the deal. If you've already declined this offer, then, and it's giving you sleepless nights, then you've got to rethink what it is truly that, that maybe you're missing a piece of information that's important and valid for you in order to decipher which way you want to go, right? Emotionally, of course. We have emotions and your mindset. So we have to really be careful what it is, how we talk to our siblings, how we in interact with family members, children, etc. cetera. Um, some of you have very, um, oh, ancient history. So there's some ancient history that your family has been going through that now needs to be re evaluated. That's what they're saying. Your higher self needs to get, get some downloads to you. Um, they want to share and impart some wisdom. And this piece of information, this one sword that is, that is waiting in the wings, literally, is going to solidify the research and knowledge that you need. It could be for buying a house, a mortgage, read all the fine print, everything about this does not mean that even if you decline the offer, just make sure that you just look at all the fine print, right? Uh, something about the house. Maybe it's, maybe it's as simple as um, a plumbing issue. Well, you know, simple. <laughs> You know what I mean? Something about house and fixing the home. Okay. There it's maybe people are in the home and we need to fix this. We have a little something that needs fixing and we need to look to see who's the best, you know, plumber for it or whatever. So you might be doing that. Get, you know, definitely um, Angie's list for sure. And or asking a family member and or a friend, what they do with their homes. Okay, Leo. Leo. Look at you came out beautiful in your reading as to, wow, so, so in hindsight, this is in hindsight. I've reviewed and and looked over how I'm feeling and thinking about situations in my life and how things have how things have been orchestrated. So you're looking at the bigger picture, right? The wake up call from spirit, right, is to look at the bigger picture and see and see it see it in your mind's eye, right? Some of you are using your your third eye and really coming to a resolution about your overall the overall life cycle and or cycles that you have been through that have gained you have gained freedom from all these life cycles some of you are in sleep you're you're dreaming of um, your family members 
um, your exes and or friends, what have you, that are near and dear to your heart. You know that spirit is behind everything that you do. The wings are massive for me here. So not only like you've you've leveled up to and to earning your wings. That's what they are saying. You've earned your wings. You've earned your place in this life. And you are definitely getting downloads and or from spirit sleep in your sleep you're you're getting a lot of information if you need to make sure to write things down uh sleep uh also doing sleep um having a dream dictionary doing sleep journals okay if if that's the case do that because if it doesn't resonate certain things in your life or cycles that you've gone through, maybe you're going through them again, once again, and spirit saying, well, you know, I kind of threw that at you in a dream so that you could, you know, either phase it out or see how you can manage to fix it and or to learn from it. Okay. Virgo. Virgo. So someone is so, look at this. Okay, Virgo, if you're with a Leo Aries Sag, someone's coming quickly to tell you something. It's an announcement. It's a, um, it's a decision. It's, it's a good thing. This is a good thing. Some um, others of you, some others of you are taking a huge leap of faith and um, no longer worried about like, you know, what it's going to sound like, how it's going to look, etc. You're taking that leap of faith into perhaps a relationship. You're going for it. Like, really, you're going for it. Um, if it's a boss, a new boss, a new job, you know, maybe you just changed bosses and, you know, they definitely are listening to everything that you, that you have to say about whatever, right? You're bringing, some of you are seasoned CEOs and you're bringing to the forefront some some of your life experience to your new boss who may be younger than you. Okay, good. And that's going to help you rise up in your level of expertise because your experience speaks volumes, not just, you know, you've been there, done that kind of thing. All right. And you're now teaching others. And taking that leap of faith forward. If it is a relationship, then it's a very good relationship where communication is, is upfront and honest. It's like the raw truth. I love that. Good for you, Virgo. It's, it's really, it's so good for you. You need someone, Virgo, that is not only actively wanting to share their hopes and dreams with you, but also like, let's communicate. Are we on the same page for sure? Okay. Not just do you look good, right? Some of you are saying, sorry, I have to say it, Virgo. They're saying some of you are just looking at the surface. So maybe um, taking the leap of faith to understand someone better and get more better acquainted will help you, Virgo, to solidify a relationship. Okay. Yeah, it's not all about the physical. All right, let's move on. Libra. Libra. Okay, so we have you totally empowered with perhaps bringing in a new love or someone who's very, uh, like an innocent, an innocent new start, um, a brand new start with someone who's coming in to share their 
um, to share their life experience with you. So I feel that some Libras out there are definitely getting a new lease on life and becoming so empowered to, you've been through a lot, you've transformed, you've learned a lot, you've, you've done your research, you have elevated your own rightful self and place in the world, and now something really, someone and or something, some things are coming in really good and positive for you. You're going to feel very childlike. If it's a new love, it's a beautiful um, depiction of like childhood love, not an ex, just feeling like there's a past life with someone that you've had on the other side. Mindful, be mindful. Also, this could be your father figure, our father who art in heaven, sending you a soulmate who is exactly who and what you have been asking for. Your dreams shall, shall be answered. So happy, right? Very happy. And yeah, it, that's also about time. <laughs> I think some of you guys have been like st stirred up in a what's we have been in in like a revolving door and we haven't been able like every time we get out of the revolving door it stirs up another go go around right and we can't seem to get ourselves out of the revolving door and now we have not all but many especially with this this full moon in Saggy, right? Truth be told, for sure. Scorpios. Okay, so this all came out. So it looks as though, Scorpio, someone may have definitely walked away or we're not seeing eye to eye here. We're having, we're having a certain flash of deja vu where someone maybe Scorpio you didn't want someone to leave but they have left and it's now time to strengthen your resolve and figure out what it is that you know who is coming at you now and what and who that is coming in for you what do they and who they show up as. Are they showing up as your supporters? Are they showing up as your frenemies? Are you being swayed and or have you been swayed by others' opinions? Are you not emotionally available for those who have come and left your life? And this all is encompassing of needing to get more inner strength in order to not be so defensive about how your life has panned out or not. Okay, sorry, but it's kind of like not sorry. So many you've had and or someone has had many, many attempts to strengthen and help you not be so, so disillusioned. They're saying just there's like a disillusion of who you feel that you are and what you represent and who others are. And that's your reality of how you may be hoping to gain some strength in your resolve of how your life has, you know, how your life has panned out, right? There's certain people that you're not going to let in and, and they've left. So it's good. It's coming to a peaceful state of resolution and getting stronger for that. There's a feminine here who could be Leo anywhere in their chart, um, potentially Venus and or Mars in their chart. If you're dealing or have dealt with a a love or someone who's very strong, they have been the ones to say emotionally, this is not, we're, she's leveled up 
and and the masculine is is still fighting for their rightful place but not emotionally attending to this to the real issues of what's going on you might have to rewind that but this person has leveled up and this person is still in that your ma the masculine or or you if you're a masculine is just emotionally unavailable and maybe you don't see yourself as that now i'm not talking to all scorpios but i am talking to many whom have been dealing with a lot of outside influencers um and how try maybe this person was trying to help you to level up and raise your vibration up but it's it's just you can't do that for another you must be able to do it for yourself if you have helped if you've been the person to help others then then that's great okay Sometimes we have we have to see things a little more realistically, right? When we look at ourselves in the mirror, Scorpio. No offense. It's either you or someone you've been dealing with. But I feel it's it's the masculine Scorpios have been dealing with a lot. And it's time to look in the mirror and not necessarily be so defensive, but more accepting of the things that need to surrender to your own self and save yourself right no one's going to save you okay saggies saggies oh my god are we happy the money's flowing action's happening we're here we're there we're traveling the world we're seeing the sights. We're in a sunny place. We're happy. I know it's spring, summer, uh, but look at this. The world is your oyster over here. Nothing is tying you down any longer. If there was any like stalemate or, or issues of not having enough, that's gone. And this is reversed for a reason. Some of you are coming in and or bringing in some some really good and positive things in your life not just the financial positive things that we that we get from the spirit and universe but it's also you know a new craft this could be someone learning a new craft um this could be l little by little just everything comes and flows according to plan right and you you're some of you are literally saggies witnessing how certain enactments in your life and or reenactments in your life have come full circle and it's like okay got it that that stuff that i had to go through that wasn't happening and it was stagnant and it was like what the heck when's it going to change it's now changing so your truth is is in your smile. Wow, that's awesome. That's what they said. Capricorn. 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 So... Capricorn, we have a Scorpio here, Cancer Pisces, right? Who is bringing you some information about, okay, I'm ready. Tell me what we have to do. Let's work together. It's a new, it's a new positive, passionate idea or a love or, you know, something that's, that's, this could be someone that you're, that you have encountered a new relationship with and it's really good like we're on the same page we're talking the same language and I'm feeling you know great passion and great ideas are we brainstorming with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio let's make things different let's uh, I hear let's give our customers what they want so if you're in the business of you know um, brainstorming 
ideas for your clients, your customers, in any business that you're with or collab with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, you're doing great. It is about, okay, are we on the same page? We've climbed to this, let's just go for it, right? Whatever it is, this could be a new endeavor. This could be anything new. The Ace of, of Wands is like anything to do with the action of one's passionate heart. And also we're on the same page and we're going for it. So whatever that is, it's a beautiful new positive beginning with a, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you're dealing with and you're on the same page, right? This, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio could be giving you their heart and love from an external and an emotional and a mental, right? So it's beautiful. It's the Trinity here. I love it. Wow, Capricorn, you have a beautiful connect here. And if it's not literally a person external to you, then that is you resembling the all of mental, physical, and passionate new beginnings. And it's a mindset that has evolved, <laughs> enveloped into an evolution. It comes out the way it's supposed to. <laughs> All right. And that maybe that's what you're saying, right? It's it's happened exactly the way it was supposed to. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, we have the pain of the past um, etching away now in our mindset and we're not totally um, overly obsessed. You know, some of you are not ov overly obsessed with the things that have not worked out and we're now looking to the future to say okay i'm a little guarded but i'm gonna like charge forward in life and and you know start new start fresh with and also my mindset is getting much clearer so that i don't literally feel like um everything is or has been a loss. Everything here is gaining gaining so much self-worth and knowledge from the past pains, you know, that you've endured, right? And it's not so much and it's not so much a heavy heart anymore as it was before. We're getting through it, right? So it is a process. So those of you who are going through a or what we're going through a breakup of some sort, you know, or maybe you have for some, for others, Aquarius, a Scorpio is going through, you know, a trial and error period is what they're saying in their love situation. And maybe you're going to offer up some, some help for them to heal just as you have through your experiences. And why wouldn't you? You know, to verbally help is to, is, is to help compact with compassion for what others are going through and what you have endured. Pisces. Pisces. We too find, we too find a way forward when things that, that, you know, kind of, you know, got too deep into our, the sector of our brain, right? Some certain things and issues in our lives have gotten too deep into the, the, the recesses of our brain. And now we're freeing ourselves from that. And we've done so by focusing in on what it is that we do. Maybe what you, how you help, how you serve for a living is helping you to grow also in your own in your own life right so maybe what it is you're a caregiver right in some fashion or a nurse or something that gives others help through their pains and and that helps you to to achieve a freedom through that 
and in helping others. For some of you, you are, you are thinking about changing it up in work, doing maybe a few um, side, side gigs or something, uh, maybe import export type of things that you've been thinking about. You're, you're maybe just, you know, tossing it around to see which one will land the best maybe you've invested or you're getting ready to change a couple things in your portfolio to reinvest certain things and so that you're not encapsulated by just one investment like you know for your retirement etc this could be money for your retirement it could be certain things that you need to invest maybe diversify in your portfolio also if money's coming to you, it could be really good, really great news, and it gives you some financial freedom, right? It's a three, so it could be coming from a third party. That's what I heard. Beautiful. All right, let's get a karma card. Let's get three karma cards for the collective. What's going on for the week? It is a great week. It's summer, right? We're enjoying swimming and the sun. It's all good. All right, we have Jupiter, Taurus, and Saturn. So we've learned the things that the things that we value that grow. For Okay, so for some, it's growing up. <laughs> this is about growing up. This is about learning the lessons that, Saturn Capricorn has taught us the father, right? Saturn is our father. And in order to allow us to grow in terms of business sense or investments or in any type of resources that we place upon ourselves that, that emulate out into the world, we need to make sure that we understand that the practicality and the positivity that that comes with that in preparing to and being productive of our resources, our the, what we value, who we value, what things we put externally into our lives that emulate our inner joy and happiness to grow and expand. And I am going to say it, the overall jest is growing up through the things that you had to wait to get or the things that you knew that you could accomplish, but there were things that you had to do um, prior to in order to grow in within and without. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like, what they're telling me, Spirit's saying, it's like this. To put it into, in a quick phrase, um, it's a prerequisite, the prerequisite of what you value is your karmic truth to implode within and explode in your outer world. Okay. I hope, I hope you got that. <laughs> All right. Take care. If you need me, I'm here. Have a great week.